We really wanted to have the protection from a third dose before school starts especially because we're at a point in the pandemic where, you know, I think a lot of other protection measures aren't going to be in place this year. So the mother of two took her son south of the border to get the shots he's currently ineligible to receive in Ontario. I have seen a few people really through Twitter who had mentioned to me that this is an option going to Ogdensburg to get the vaccine. Um, we didn't we didn't really want to do that. We assumed that it would eventually be open in Ontario. So we kind of waited and waited and waited. Gibbs, who ran for the Ontario Liberals in June's provincial election, posted this photo to Twitter, calling out the government for a delayed rollout of third doses. Global News reached out to the Ministry of Health requesting an interview with the minister and received this response. We are reviewing NASTY's most recent guidance and will be providing details for booster shots for this age group in the coming days. Last week, Health Canada gave Pfizer's booster the stamp of approval to be used on kids 5 to 11. On Wednesday, Manitoba expanded its eligibility criteria for the third dose to include that age group. By protecting them, we are also protecting families. Epidemiologist Nazim Muhajarin supports the expansion of third dose eligibility criteria. Just as we don't question about uh, putting a seat belt on when we get into a car, I don't think that we should be really second guessing, you know, whether we need a vaccine at this point in time. It is our insurance policy against any threat to our well-being. As for Katie Gibbs. Our kids are still in daycare and going to school, but we want to take any extra levels of protection that we can. Shalima Maharaj, Global News.